found a couple more strollers last night. They look pretty good. Some other random stuff. Empty toolbox. A couple push mowers. Usual suspects. Oh. See if the old donkey will start up. We'll drive around, see what else we can find. Found a few tidbits of aluminum so far. This is probably all aluminum too. Yeah. Look everybody, I got truck sides. <laughs> you don't need sides when you find them every day, right? You're coming with me. Stay. <laughs> this is where the lady almost lost her dog stroller. I don't see it sitting there today. <laughs> I'm sure she won't leave it on the side of the road ever again, eh? Don't look broken, so we'll leave it. Maybe they just left it out there. There he is. Hi, Sam. <laughs> oh man. We gotta get out here earlier. I was gonna come last night, but after I got done running around the other town and filled up the S10, I was like, man, I'm just going to bed. <laughs> I need multiple birds. That was all plastic. Looks like today is chair day, apparently. But we like these big, old, heavy ones. Holy. We don't need no sides. There's something else down there. It looks like a Bosch. Looks like a Bosch radio. From what I can see from here. It's my guess. Let's see what it is. Um, a Bosch radio. And a big ass chunk of steel. Okay. That's great. It's a good one. Put it on our side to hold it. Cram! Well, this one's gonna shoot up a little bit, but I don't know, this might sell at the flea market. Might be worth it. Test it. Try it. Worst case scenario, throw it out, right? Oh, look, it's got a 12 volt outlet on it. That's pretty cool. Huh. Still got the time going. Wrong time, but. Alright. Onward! <laughs> that one's a little egged out. Probably just scratch. A little too far egged. Unless I want to get froggy and beat it back straight. But I don't know if it's worth it for a dollar. Bouncer might sell too, but I, I don't know. I ain't got enough room to mess with babies. So much baby stuff. Strollers are one thing because you can fold them up. I could probably take a bunch of strollers, but. Well, on to the next, right, King?
totes and totes and totes. Tarp in that one. All right, a couple pieces. These are kind of cool. This one's probably just scrap though. This one might resell. Oh man, it's got stuff in it. Oof, that's a gas. It actually smells like good gas. <laughs> Scores. Oh yeah. Thank you, cotton sir. Cutters here. Come on. Come on. All right, stay. Hey, what's up? Uh, whatever, all kinds of things. Yeah. Yeah, that water tank. Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Uh, want me to pull it out? If you can, because my truck doesn't have any reverse right now. So it's hard for me to. Yeah. I'm just going to run it till it stops, you know? Got a water tank or something back there. Bladder tank, it looks like. So grab that from her. Plus, there's a pile over there where we got the windows. The guys, the contractors, left another pile for me. Not windows, but other stuff. tools, huh? Thank <laughs> you. 
actually got the cord. I wonder if it works. Alright, we'll throw it on top. Donkey update while we're getting some gas. It's still rolling. No reverse. Sounds like a bag of change in there sometimes, but it's still going. We're going to run her till she dies. That's it. I'm putting nothing else into her. I was putting $10 at a time in it, but this time I put 20 in it just to get me a little bit farther. All kinds of goodies up in there. Oh, yeah. All kind. Everybody throws out all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Yep. Well, I found a radio or something like that. Is that a radio? Yeah. So what's wrong with these things with it was that it, uh, where the, where the antenna goes. Yeah. All right. The wire, it had it, it, had it yeah. but it was only, I said, like, here's, here's the yeah. radio. And the antenna was, for me, but like, that far, the wire, the yeah. wire for the antenna. Yeah. Dude, nothing wrong with it. Yo, I know. So I did it. Crazy. I, I, the thing is, everybody wants Bluetooth now, you know. Yeah, yeah. If they I, if they can't link it to their phone, they don't want nothing to, nothing yeah, to do with I, it, you know. Yeah. I took the I, I took the mug home. I said, <laughs> tied it. Yeah. Yeah. It looks brand new. Works fine. Yeah, we'll just ride it. Like, all right, I'll, go around, I'll go around and check it. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. Yeah. You'd be surprised. If you oh, I know. Bit. I find all kinds of stuff around here. Yeah. You know? Every town, really, but uh, 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 people out here got money, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, well, that's something we do. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's more the um, trash that uh, yep. go around, you know, and yeah. so I can see. All right, man, later. Yep. There's pickers everywhere, right? Even at the gas station. Even the guy pumping gas is out there picking trash. Competition. Oh, that's a hole. seems like the nicest day we're gonna have all week rest of the week looks like it's just gonna be cloudy rainy and crappy so it's not too windy today so I guess I'm gonna do some spraying I need to get on top of that because once the grass gets too tall you know it makes it a lot harder to get it to to knock it out if you can get to it while it's short it's usually not that bad but I guess I'll be doing that the rest of the day. Brush hogging, spraying. I got two trucks to unload. And uh, at some point, I'm probably going to drive over to the uh, plasma contract and see if he's got any stuff out there from the weekend. So, I guess that's what's going on. Another day in the life, right? Right out there, I can't see nothing. I don't know if I broke my wand last year or what, but I can't find it anywhere. So, uh, yep. Yeah. Mmm, cancer in a cup.
Thank you, Monsanto. All the bees are hard at work. They're getting them. They're eating the soffits in the barn, but they're getting they're getting the fields pollinated. Look at this one. Just loaded. Oh, these are uh, some of the early varieties. These ones are Weymouth. That's a fly. I can hear them. There's one there. Do work, soldier. Oh, he's barking. Or she is. They got. They pollinate a lot of them, though. You see all the little berries. Every one of these will be a berry. There's a there's a regular honeybee there. See him? <laughs> there's a few of them around, but not many. And these are probably from other farmers' hives. Yeah. People were saying, "Oh, you need your own bees." And I told a couple people in the comment section, "We did we did have our own bees. We used to do honey, we used to do all that." And uh like I was, I was telling, telling people in the comments that uh, my grandmother informed me that it wasn't 10 hives. It was actually 18 hives that we lost, which I didn't know. I thought it was 10. But we moved them to an adjacent farm because the state said that they were going to spray the woods for gypsy moss. So we moved them somewhere where we thought they would be safe. But they ended up actually spraying that section of woods at the same time. And it killed all 18 hives. So... My grandfather was so disgusted, he he just didn't even bother trying to, you know, produce new hives. See, these this is a Berkeley bush. You can really tell the difference because, like, I can anyway because I've been around them a lot. But you see, like, the red, the red tinge on the edge of these leaves, right? Whereas a Berkeley bush doesn't have that, you know? It's just a, a like a lighter green. It's kind of hard to explain, but maybe you can see it in the video. You know, they, they don't, it just looks completely different. 
these little Berkeley bushes are starting to starting to pop off blossoms. And you see these ones are also Berkeleys and look at the blossoms on here. Hey guys, get over here. You missed these ones. <laughs> and you see these uh these Walcott or Weymouth, they have like a red a red hue to the tips. I believe this whole row, outside row here, pretty much most of it's Berkeley's. And you can kind of, you can kind of tell, like even if you stand back and look, you see how much darker those bushes are than these ones. A much lighter green. Yeah, it's popping blossoms. But these ones are pretty far behind the Weymouth, you know. Like you see, look, the Weymouth have green berries on them already, pretty much. I mean, it's probably in that transition stage between blossom and berry, but in another week, you'll definitely, in one more week out here, you'll definitely uh, be able to tell that there's berries. What really sucks is these things are blossoming right now, and the next three to four days is going to be cloudy and really crappy weather, so, you know... This is the dance that you play, like hopefully the weather is nice enough for the bees to come out and do what they got to do. But if it's really inclement weather for like a week when these things are blossoming and there's no bees out, you, you won't get no berries on them, you know. So we might be past the frost zone just barely. Usually it's the first, first full moon in May, so... And I think that's the second week this year. So we still can get frosted, but it, it won't matter now for these. The ones that are actually in berry mode, they'll be fine. What it hurts is the blossoms, you know. The blossoms will, if they, they can't handle the frost, they're too delicate. All right, well, we did a little bit of work today. We got some scrap. I'm going to make a couple truckloads and take that in. And we'll be back in the morning. I'll do it all over again. I need to cut the grass over here too. Uh, it's never ending, right? <laughs> all right. Comment, rate, subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you all in the next one. Let's go see where the bees are living. One was chewing there. Are you guys in there? Hello. Yeah. They're in there somewhere. <laughs> oh, well.